So let's check the frequency response of this antenna on X700H dual band diamond antenna. This is not properly installed, it's just leaning on the roof. So the radials are connected, the coaxial cable feed line is connected at the bottom. So this is now connected to my antenna analyzer. So let's check the frequency response of the antenna at 142 we are on 1.4 SWR 143 is 1.4 144 is 1.4 145 is 1.5 146 is 1.7 147 is 1.9 1 48 is 2.2 .2 and 149 is 2.4 so this antenna is pretty usable on the BHF side so let's check the frequency card so as we can see here we have 142 the lowest frequency and 148 the highest frequency RSWR is less than 1.5 from 142 we are on 144 it's showing 1.4 so let's move to 145 still 1.4 145 is 1.5 144 is 1.4 143 is 1.4 one, uh, 42 is 1.39 or 1.4 as well so going up we have 145 as 1.5 146 is 1.7 147 is 1.9 and 148 is 2.2 VSWR is still usable on the VHF from 144 to 146 MHz that's the amateur frequency band so let's check the UHF side by changing the frequency sweep to 440 and 4 130 so the upper frequency is set let's move the low frequency to 430 So as we can see here, we have 430 to 440. Our VSWR is about 1.5 to 1.6 across the band. So let's check the individual frequency from 430 to 440. So 430 is 1.5. 431 is 1.4 4.3.2 is 1.3 4.3.3 is 1.23 4.3.4 is 1.5 4.3.6 is 1.7 4.3.7 is 1.6 4.3.8 is 1.5 and 440 is 1.3 so still also pretty usable on the UHF band from 430 to 440 so this antenna is properly working now and 
it can be used from the 2 meter band up to the 70 centimeter band.